So we're going to take our 102. And this is our base 10 number. And we're gonna simply just going to use whatever method you want to convert it to a binary number. Um, and uh, for me, the easiest way to do this is just to keep dividing by 2 all the way down until you are done um, and carrying your remainder over. All right, so that's that's the remainder of 0. Am I right? Yeah, and then so you're just going to keep doing this all the way down. So we're just going to have like a um, 25 here with a remainder of 1. And you'll have a 12 with a remainder of 1. 6, there is no remainder. 3. Um, all right, so we're going to 1. And that has a remainder of 1. 0, that has a remainder of 1. Now, the trick to this, again, remember, as you read this number, top, bottom, to top. So then we can say, new color, that 102 in base 10 <coughs> is equal to, um, so 1, we're reading from bottom to top, remember, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 in base 2, okay, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so we only need it 7 bits to represent the number 102. But um, our problem states that we have an 8-bit converter. So we'll just tack as many zeros over here to the left as we need to fill it out. OK. And uh, so at this point, you're pretty much done. Um, that's that's the answer. That's, that's your binary representation of 2 volts in this case. Um, uh, we should probably check this. I don't want to leave with a mistake. So what's a, that's a 2, that's a 4, uh, 32, and a 64, right? Add those guys all together, 98. Yeah, with a, oh, my pen again with that 6, that 4, right? Yeah, so that should be, I, sorry about that. Uh, that's a four, whatever. You guys know that. So we just add these together to check our work, and that comes out to 102. So there it is. Um, uh, that's that's all there is. So just to review real quick, this is the section that we just looked at here, converting from an analog signal to digital. That's our work right here. We converted from our analog value, our signal, we, we sampled at one discrete period in time. And we took our sample of two volts, right? Um, and uh, we, to find our full scale value, our number of bits from that, you can get your least significant bit or your step size, right? This is the size of each of these steps here. So we have 19.5 MV steps. How many steps do you have to go up to get to 2 volts? 102.4. Um, we looked at it a little closer here and realized there's some quantization error as we had to round down to 102. So w when, when we come back, when we convert this, we're not going to get exactly 2 volts out. We can't. It's impossible. Um, well, that's easy. So if we want to see what the value is that we'll get out, Remember, we just take our number, our binary number here, convert it to base 10, which is 102. Uh, 102. And we multiply that by our VLSB, which is 19.5. Right? So 102 times. And we actually get an output voltage when we convert from digital back to analog we're going to end up with 1.989 volts so you could see where the quantization error comes in here 
you don't get your original two volts back. You get something slightly different because we had a round right here. Okay, um, so I, I hope I've covered everything and uh, you all feel comfortable with this topic. If you have any other questions, uh, you know, leave a comment below. If you liked it, please like to hit the like button, add it to your favorites if you really liked it. And if you want to be able to come back and find them easy, that makes it really, really convenient. Okay, so um, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll be coming at you probably with maybe, I don't know. We, we've kind of beat this topic to death. So maybe I'll do like two examples coming right up. All right, so look forward to that. Thanks again, guys. Bye.